Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. What I decided to do today was have a little bit of a mixing video. So what we're going to do is use some eye candy neons. So like your proton purple, arc orange, we've got um, electric blue, magma magenta, we have cosmic red, plastic pink, and UFO green. There's a couple more in the range, but I'll do these ones just for a bit of fun. And what we're going to do is make up a, a pastel, a sparkly pastel type colour that still lights up under a black light. So we'll be using Glimmer White, Ghost Blue, that gives us an interference sort of shimmer to it when we tilt it in the light, and Say You White. So what I'm going to do is mix up a couple of colours and show you what they look like so you can make your own pastel series out of all your neons that still light up under a black light. Alright, I'll move these off to one side and we'll get started. Okie dokie. So, what I usually do is I start with some Say You White, which is that one. And I'll put a scoop in all my little containers. So probably that much. I don't usually go by measurements. So I'll just put a scoop. It's probably half a teaspoon or something. Alright, so the white is what's going to give us our pastel colour, plus it has a little bit of sparkle in it too, so. So we put the white in first. We will go with our glimmer white, which is really sparkly. Like that. So wear a mask with this stuff because it does float in the air. So I'll put some glimmer white in them all. That way you get some sparkle. Like that. Then interference colours, which are your ghost colours. I've got oops, quite a few different ones laying around, so... What we'll do is go with Ghost Violet. So I'm putting about the same amount in all of the cups. So you're using the same amount of each colour you put in. So that's the Ghost Violet. Hard to tell what colour it is because they all look white. We'll go a ghost red in that one. Ghost red in that one. Ghost blue, where are you? Found you. All right, so ghost blue. So I've got different ghost colours in each different one. Some are the same, some are different. It's all good. I'm going to add some Joe Sonia to it. Which is just a squirt. Now what we'll do is grab one. You'll do. Now if you've got a mask on, and some safety glasses. You won't get this stuff in your lungs or your eyes. 
it's not really good. So all I'm doing is dispersing those pigments, mixing it in, and that gives us a real shimmery, crazy colour in the white, but in the light, it'll change colour to whatever your ghost colour was. Hard to tell with these lights, but on a black sort of background, let's see if we've got one of these sticks here. Don't know whether that'll pick it up. That's the violet. So, when that's in the light, your colours are going to shift to that sort of colour. So all you do is go through all the colours that you want to make and mix them all in. Disperse them all. So, rather than you sit there and watch me mix up all of these, I'll, um... cut this bit and I'll mix all these up and we'll come back to add our colour. Okie dokie. Now that we have that part done, they're all mixed up and dispersed, what we're going to do is go with our colours. So we'll go with Cosmic Red for this one. And what we're going to do is just add a tiny amount on the end of your stick. All right, tap that in. This is why we wear a mask, because as you tap it, you're gonna get dust in the air. So now that we've put a little bit of that in, what I'm gonna do, just mix that in. Neon soaks into all the other colors. Like that. And you end up with some really cool colors. Now if you want that a little bit darker, all you do is grab your little stick, preferably one that's not wet with the paint on, Grab a little bit more, add to it. So you can adjust what shade you want of that color just by adding it little bit by little bit until you get the color that you desire. So if you want it a little bit darker, you add a little bit more. If you want it lighter, add a little bit less. So I always start off with just a tiny little bit and go from there. All right, so that's all mixed in. And that's our pastel cosmic red. Okay, we'll do another one. Do blue. I'll pick one that's got the violet interference, which was this one. That's got the violet gaze color in it. And what we're going to do is do the same thing. Just grab a little bit on the end, drop it in. Mix that in. That way it gives you a really gorgeous baby blue. Like that. Same applies. If you want it a little bit darker, just grab your blue. Add a little bit more in until you get to the color that floats your boat. Right, so you mix that in. 
That's just going to get darker and darker. The more you add in, the darker it's going to get. Now these eye candy pigments are actually mixing really, really well. And you end up with it a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'll go through and make up all these other colours just so that you're not sitting there watching me mix up a whole heap of colour. Then we'll add the pouring medium from there. Okay. So they're all mixed in now. We've got a neon sparkly pastel green. Our orange. Our blue. We have a magenta. And our pink. Pretty. So they all light up under a black light. Nice and sparkly. Now, pour a medium. You need an untinted house paint. Now, in Australia, you can use the Taubman's water-based enamel or Taubman Sunproof. Both work really well. If you're in America, you can use the Bear 8300 or Valspar. Same in the UK, you can use Valspar. But what you want is that pouring medium so that when you dip your finger in it, rub it between your fingers, it turns clear. That's blue paint. <laughs> Good one, Wombat. But yeah, that turns clear as. You probably tell better if I didn't have paint all over my hands. So what I usually do is, I'll get a scoop. Throw it in each one. To start with. So just go one scoop at a time. That way you're not overloading all your, your pigments at the same time. Grab one. Now I'm just going to mix it in a little bit by little bit. So you can see the white pouring medium there. And all I'm doing is dragging a little bit of white up into the top part of the pink. Little bit by little bit. Otherwise, if you just dump all your pouring medium in in one go, it sort of mutes it. I mean, it clears up a bit when it dries, but I just like doing it this way. Especially if you're going to do a painting or a video, and then you want your colours to be as true as possible for the photo or video while it's still wet. So this is the best way to do it. So we've got our pastel magenta. Wipe that one off. We've got our plastic pink. We're going to just do that the same way. Little bit by little bit. So what I'll usually do is do half a dozen colours at a time. That all mixes in beautifully like that. Alright. When they're all mixed up with the first lot, I'll go in, add another scoop. And I'll do that three times. That way, I've got enough in my container to do what I want to do. I usually like to make, you know, one of these little cups. What are they? 40 mil, 20 mil, 40 mil, something like that. That way it's still really highly pigmented. So when you blow them out for blooms or swipes and you're stretching them out, they don't break up. So that's quite pastely compared to what the original colour is which I really should have 
mixed one up so you can see the original colour comparatively. I might do that, or at least take a photo of it. So I'll go through and mix that up. Like that. So I'm going to go through, I'll mix all these ones up, put the right amount in, and we'll go from there. Okay, so that is our pastel green compared to the original UFO green. So that one's all pastel out compared to the original colour. That one's plastic pink, which is really, really pink compared to our pastel out one. That's got a bit of color shift in it and some bling. So what we'll do is um, finish mixing those up and we might have a bit of a paint. I just thought of something. So for people that can't afford a whole heap of different colors in the range, what we can do is start with Jungan Silver. Add some of that. Add some Joe Sonia to it. Mix that in. That goes a really, really cool silver colour. It looks darker in the jar, but it actually goes really, really silver. This is a cheat way of getting some bling. So you start with that one, mix it in thoroughly, which gives you, hard to see with this light, there it is, super silvery. Um, what color shall we use? Let's go for purple. So we've got our neon proton purple. Which is this guy. Where's the label? All the way around. Proton on purple. Do the same thing. Start with just a tiny little bit at a time. And mix it in. That's got a slight little purple tint to it. So I add a bit more. And you just keep adding a little bit by little bit until you get the color you want. Let's make it purple. Yeah. So there now. That's a crazy cool purple color. heaps of sparkle in it and it light up under a black light because you've got the neon pigment in it okie dokie free tip um yeah so what I'll do is put all these to one side now and we'll actually paint something with the stuff we've just made. Okie dokie. So we've got all our lovely little pastel colours. 
and I figured we'll paint something with it. Might do a radial. So I've got British Paint Slow Sheen Pillow Paint down. That is black exterior paint. And we're just going to go through with all our little pastel ones that we've just made up. So that's the green, that's the blue. And this one's the magenta. This one's the red. The orange. And last but not least, the pink. So we'll put that down. We will get some selectivator, which is here, in our little swipe tool. So I'm going to use this as my swipe tool. I remove the handles, it just gives you a better feel when you swipe. So we put some selectivator on the little swipe tool. Like that. And do our radial. I usually do is go round like that. Move it out a little bit. Rotate. And then start angling it. Like that. And just lift it. Now where that selector bait is heavy in the center, you can either give it a blow, or just wait a little while and it'll sink anyway. But what I'm going to do is grab my skewer. Some crazy patterns around the outside edge. We might put some in the middle for a bit of fun. Now, what we'll do is give that a bit of a spin. If that hadn't glued itself to it. Okay, so put that in the middle, make sure it's dead center, Pop that bubble. And there we have a cool little radial that's going to flick different colours in the light because you've got those gaze colours in. And it lights up under a black light. How cool is that? So yeah, that's um, 
that's how I do my pastel colours. I'll just mix up that um, the white with the ghost colours, add a little bit of each different colour, see which ones I like for what colour, and um, it's a whole heap of fun. You can change the colour just by adding a little bit more neon. Now you can do the same thing with other colours. Like say you just had a normal red, a normal blue, a normal orange. Doesn't really matter. The only difference is it won't be neon if you're not using a neon. If you are interested in any eye candy products, there'll be a link in the description. Use Venom Fluid Art as the coupon code and you'll get 10% off anything you buy in the pigment range on eye candy pigments. So that saves you a little bit as time goes on too. So feel free to use that. Um, that is it from me today. What I'll do is, as this dries, I'll take a photo of it with the black light on or I'll stick a little reel over this section and you can see it light up under the black light. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. That way it helps me with that stupid YouTube algorithm. Um, once again, thanks Ace for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. So, that is it from me today. Have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.